For our final afternoon and night in our Avoid the Oregon coast on a busy holiday weekend, while 22 fires were burning in the state, we headed a little further south to enjoy another Harvest Host stay at Eola Hills Wine Cellars. Eola Hills has three Oregon locations, McMinnville, Rick Riel, where we visited the tasting room, tasted, shopped, and selected some excellent wines to take with us, and Legacy Estate. They had a large list to taste from. We enjoyed a great Pinot Gris, Chardonnay, Riesling, and Sauvignon Blanc. Their winemaker's reserve label includes a few Pinots, a Syrah, Merlot, a La Creole Chardonnay, which just might have been our favorite. After our time in the tasting room, we headed over to Legacy Estate, where we parked our trailer for a super enjoyable afternoon, and again, thanks to our Harvest Host membership, we were able to stay the night. Their rock work here was amazing. still share a single heart if you peel away the bark. Eola produces a lot of wine, a lot of varietals, and makes wine under other labels. I spent a half an hour or so chatting with the vineyard manager and learned a lot about the area, the soil, their grapes, and interestingly enough, he too is a member of Harvest House. So when I said that we had stayed at the Blue Heron French Cheese Company in Tillamook, he stated that Eola Hills makes the Blue Heron label. And even more interesting, that was my favorite wine at Blue Heron. But slowly, we drifted in our own they are in the process of building a new tasting room here, and in the meantime had a temporary little setup for tasting and buying a limited selection of their wines. I looked and saw your branch had been we of course took advantage of this, enjoyed a cold bottle, sat in their Adirondack chairs, had our feet in the grass. We grew up like a tree trunk, but your branch and mine, they split and climbed apart. Lexi enjoyed the cold grass and meeting some little dogs that were also visiting the winery. They had just had a huge eclipse party at Legacy, with music, foods, and loads of trailers, tents, and RVs. Roots. Hundreds of solar lights had been set along paths and around Legacy Lake. We were told during the darkest part of the eclipse, the lights all started to come on. It must have been a beautiful sight. And the lake. Lexi enjoyed the lake, a little too much. The frogs didn't seem to care much but did get out of her way. I don't think she even noticed them. And she definitely, definitely needed a bath after this. Everything about Eola was fantastic. Great wines, lots to choose from, very nice staff, a friendly atmosphere, and a beautiful legacy estate property. Really an incredible visit. But your branch in my Next up, we head back to the coast and a night at Sunset Bay State Park, a beautiful bay, beach, and campground. But we still share a single heart If you peel away the bark If you've enjoyed our visit to Eola Hills, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow along on our travels and explorations, subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.